We're back with more on WHHI's Daily News. Just how much does the RBC impact businesses here in the Low Country? Our very own Betsy McDaniel went to the tournament to get some answers. Joining me now is Chris Neely, and he is the superintendent of the South Carolina Public Charter School District. Thank you for being here today. Yeah, my pleasure. What a great day. I mean, it's a beautiful day here it at the is. Heritage. Tell us a little bit about what you do and, you know, how you work together, um, you know, and the economic impact that not only you have on the state, but then, of course, this tournament has. Yeah, so the South Carolina Public Charter School District was created in 1996 to create innovative schools, uh, across the state of South Carolina that in partnership with business and industry can help create the workforce for the future. And so the reason that I'm here at the RBC Heritage is to meet and talk with business leaders and our elected officials that are down here about the important linkage between education and workforce and job creation. And I can't think of a better place in the RBC Heritage. This is for a long time, many years now, and I've been coming here for about 35 years, has been a place where business deals have been generated for the state of South Carolina. And so the public charter school district, we want to be part of those conversations because we can't attract business and industry from around the world and around the country if you don't have a good quality educated workforce. And that's what we're all about. Yeah. And so, and what are some of the things that you do um, through those conversations to try and make it more appealing for our students to stay here and become part of the workforce? Well, that's right. I think the autonomy that our schools have locally to operate locally, give teachers, empower them in the classroom. A lot of our schools are very focused on STEM education, which is what our, our companies in, in South Carolina and around the world want in their workers. Um, of course, the, the Alliance here with Southern Carolina Alliance and the South Carolina Public Charter School District working hand-to-hand -hand with economic developers and our business leaders to say, look, what are the needs in business today and how can we incorporate that training and that education and learning in our schools so we can create and meet the needs you have in the workforce? So it, it's a partnership that's vital and the RBC Heritage is a great place for those relationships to be built. And to watch a little golf. And to watch some great golf. And it's been a great South Carolina day today. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for being with us. And thank you for what you're doing in the state. Yeah, thank you so much. With me now is Eric Christensen, and he is the president of Swiss Krona, which is in Barnwell. Thank you for being here today. It's a pleasure. So tell us a little bit about um, you bringing your business to Barnwell and the South region here, and then a little bit about what this tournament means to continuing that development. Okay, so for our business, um, proximity to raw material is really important. And so we're in the pine basket, and uh, pine for us is a key raw material for our production process. We make HDF, MDF board, and laminate flooring um, that is then sold to big box retailers like Home Depot, Lowe's, LL Flooring, and um, Floor and Decor, for example. So um, the raw material source for us was really important, and being close to it meant a lot to us. Um, this was years ago when we came. Um, we've since invested, since we got here, another 300 plus million uh, into manufacturing here in South Carolina. Um, to answer your other question, events like this are important to us um, because you know, so often in the day-to-day -day we're caught up in the blocking and tackling of our business and this gives us a venue to get out and have some meaningful conversations with you know, industry partners, with our neighbors in the community um, to talk about the challenges we all face and how we're dealing with them um, and also to talk about opportunities. So. Well, you've obviously had quite the impact on the region just with your company. Um, tell us what you're seeing in, in terms of trends of what you think is coming here and what those impacts will be as well. So there's a lot of activity here. I mean, there's a lot of new businesses coming. Um, and I think, you know, the challenge for everybody will be, you know, I guess what many people or many companies are dealing with, and that's finding, you know, qualified labor force to um, help us run the businesses. Um, I see you know, trends in, um, you know, training, and we've had some support through um, some uh, state programs to help us with training employees, but getting that qualified workforce, training them, um, providing good, you know, well-paying jobs for these people is important to us, but I see that as a key priority for not only our business, but also our, our fellows. Um, I mean, there's, you know, there's another new business coming into Allendale, which will be hiring another thousand people. So, yeah, it's exciting. And I think in the end, you know, Danny and I were talking about this in the end, um, it's just good for the community because it brings in, you know, 
it brings in the people, it builds the infrastructure for communities, um, and it brings a nice tax base for uh, the community too, so. Well, thank you for sharing that with us today. We appreciate it. Enjoy some more golf. We'll do, thanks. Thanks a lot, Betsy. When we come back, Diane Fisher-Simmons will have all the latest in local arts, events, and entertainment here in the Low Country.